Milk is not recommended on a low carb or keto diet. Hi, this is Anita from the Reluctant Low Carb Life, where we talk about all things to do with low carb and keto lifestyle and eating and fitness and health and all those other good things we talk about. Today, I want to talk a little bit about milk, because if you're like me, maybe you love milk. I love milk. I mean, I could sit down and drink a whole carton of milk. I love the taste of whole fresh milk. But one of the hardest things for me to give up on a low carb or keto diet has been my milk. In fact, every night when I'm visiting my mother, she has a glass of milk and I sit there and I watch that milk and I just envy her drinking that milk because on a low carb or keto diet, you are not supposed to drink milk. And a lot of people wonder, well, why should you not drink milk? Well, I actually went and I did a comparison or review on different types of milk. I looked at whole milk. I looked at 2% reduced fat milk. I looked at 1% low fat milk. I looked at skim milk or fat free milk. And I looked at uh, lactose free milk. What I discovered is, yes, there are some differences, but still milk, even though it has like eight grams of fat, And uh, this is for the whole milk, like one glass of milk. We're going to talk again about one cup of milk. So, you know, which is about one small glass. So if you're like me and you like to drink a whole carton of milk, of course, you're going to have to double, triple or quadruple or whatever it is with the milk. But, you know, milk itself is, um, you know, one glass of milk, you know, can be about 150 calories. If it's the whole milk, which is a little bit higher in calories, but your carbohydrates is 12 grams. But where milk is a bit of a problem is actually the sugars. And yes, it is natural sugar, but you have 12 grams of carbohydrates and 11 grams of sugar. So milk is naturally high in sugar, which really surprises me because we all think of milk as being sort of this natural, great product. But that's why milk is not recommended on a low carb or keto diet. Even the 2% milk, it still has 12 grams of carbohydrates and then the sugars go up. So the more they reduce the fat in the milk, this is an interesting fact that I learned, you know, the more the sugars tend to go up. So it's 12 grams of sugar versus the 11 grams of sugar. The 1% milk is, is 12 grams of sugar too, but you have 13 grams of carbohydrates. So as they're reducing the fat in the milk, the carbohydrates are going up, the sugars are usually going up, you know, and and so actually, if you're going to drink milk, I mean, whole milk is the better milk because it's lower carbohydrates and lower um, sugars, but it's still quite high for the sugars itself. You know, skim milk has 13 grams carbohydrates and 12 grams of sugar. And even the lactose in, in you know, uh, free milk, which you think, well, maybe lactose free milk, like gluten free, you know, maybe that's something that could be eaten on the low carb or keto diet. But the truth is that even the lactose free milk has 13 grams of it and 12 grams of sugar. You know, the, the protein, the eight grams of protein stays about similar for almost all the milks. You know, no matter which type of milk it is, the protein grams is very similar, but the carbohydrates and sugars fluctuate according to what type of milk it is. You know, so that is why milk is not recommended on a low carb or keto diet. And I know that that's really hard for um, a lot of people to understand because milk, we've always been told is healthy and, you know, milk is healthy. It's just not healthy for us being on a low carb or keto diet. That's why a lot of people say milk is for children. And when the adult, you know, some of the substitutes which I have found, I personally like almond milk. I I make a lot of smoothies with almond milk. There's some great unsweetened almond milk there, which which actually helps me satisfy for my milk taste. So if you're if you really are um, you know having a hard time with milk, try some almond milk. But actually milk itself, whole milk, whether skim milk, Fat-free milk, even lactose-free milk are all milks that you should avoid on a low-carb or keto um, diet or lifestyle. This is Anita from Reluctant Low-Carb Life. Thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate you. Thank you for our production crew, Rico, for your help in putting this all together. And thank you. 
check out our blog, reluctantlowcarblife.com. We have lots of great information on there all about the low-carb and keto lifestyle.